we're gonna go over two regressions. The, they're a combination drill for our wide stance hip hinge and a replacement for our warrior lunge. And you're gonna do this with somebody who's either overweight, really deconditioned, uh, they don't have a very good plank, and the either hip hinge or the warrior lunge, basically we use the rule of thumb if it looks ugly, uh, don't use it. Uh, and you also can use this for people who have low back pain and or just general tight hips. You're gonna take a ball. For our bigger clients, we'll use a BOSU and actually put the middle of the BOSU right in their low back. In place of the warrior lunges, we're gonna point one toe, pull the other in, and then we're gonna work on a little flexion and extension in these hips. I, I normally have people go five to six on one, five to six on the other. And we're just working on some hip mobility and really decompressing the back uh, where somebody who maybe isn't ready for the warrior lunge might compress their back, not being able to keep their core tight enough. This will put them in a safe position. We can really mobilize those hips. Instead of the wide stamp hip hinge, we'll go both toes pointed and just a wide stance split here. Pointing the toes away, pulling the belly button into the ball. Uh, again, getting the same result as our wide stance hip hinge, just protecting the back and strengthening the core from a little bit lower level. Make sure you always bridge up to get out of here. Again, with a heavier set person, you're gonna probably wanna use a BOSU as opposed to a ball, but as soon as you can progress them to a ball, that'll give them more leverage to decompress their back, open up the hips more.